Hello, welcome back to Benny's Dead. We have made our way up this elevator into the hotel, and we are now, well, I guess, check the map. I guess we're now in the garden. So here is uh, the lift back to the lobby. Make a note. So if we had. Uh, I was going to say if we had east. But I remember when we started, we were looking over this courtyard and looking through this gate here and saying it's definitely not the right way to, you know, the right way to go in. Um, despite the map saying it's probably the best bet. And that was east. Which means that's south. So if I put. If I'm correct. Um, about this. That's east, west. South and north on this map. Come on. There. Okay, higher, higher. Very, very important. To get it right. All right. Um, and like this one was just like upside down based on the gift shop. We had like south and north, which means that's west and that's east. It's like what? It's just all over the shop. And that's the lift here as well that connects to the garden here. Alright, so I'm gonna actually gonna hit that save and that will keep our map annotations for us. So the guard I'm hearing is still the guard downstairs in the lobby. So if we head south, we should find our way to the room where his body of Benny's body was discovered. We have. Oh, wait. No, oh, this is wrong. Oh, God. This is all over the shop. What do we have here? We have double doors at one end, and on either side, we have double doors and single doors. So we have double doors to the south, and the east, and the north. This is showing single doors, or well, small doors there, and big double doors there. What? Alright, let me correct my compass. Let's go look out of these doors. See if we can. There's a guard there. Somewhere. Does that look across the lobby? Oh, that's the garden. Oh, we're in the lobby. Of course, alright. Okay, there's no lift there. The lift is in the lobby. And then that explains the doors we've got. So, east is the garden. South is to the bar, yep. And that means north comes out this way, to the dining hall. Yes. All right. This compass direction is correct, but I was just wrong about uh, which room we were in. Great. There were a bunch of guards in the courtyard. Uh, there's a bunch of rooms here. I don't know whether they're important. We really want to make our way to where Benny's body was discovered first, because I'm sure more things are going to happen when we get there. Um, we do need to find out who killed them, not just not just discover the crime scene, but that's really our first target is to get there. So we're going to go east and then south, and then it should be the second door. God, come out this way. Yes. Do they have any keys? Doesn't want to be to have any keys. Right? Oh. Wow, there's guards everywhere. Yeah. And very little darkness anywhere. Alright, this is the room. So I might just uh, get things started by dousing. The gaslight, so we at least have uh, somewhere where we won't be spotted immediately. That's locked. Yeah, I'm gonna need a key. All right, so that was not as easy as it might have seemed. Where, where, where are we? Where are we going then? So the room of Benny's was 
Benny's body was discovered is locked. Uh, this is where I presume where Lady Baffert is. There was some windows here and somebody saw me. Um, though they didn't get a good look, they were just a little suspicious. There's possibly not a guard in there. I think there's a lady in the garden, there's a guard. Excuse me, who patrols this corridor and I'm not sure of the patrol route. I guess that's them coming back now. Yeah, right, so where where is this room? Um, well, it's unmarked. But it does connect back to the garden. Oh, there's a guard coming. Don't make me jump find you! Oh, he did see me too. God damn it. Well, this takes us upstairs to a uh, very bare area. Which is clearly not not uh, trafficked. Yeah, see, there's nothing. No will. All right, so the guard does patrol all the way around here. Guess there's nothing. Good to know. It's clearly uh, staff areas. There's some money foolishly left lying around. And. Uh, Less foolish in this room. Also well, pity for me. We're at 850 of our 1200 loot gold. <coughs> so that's the same guard, I think, just come in from the. What is that smell? Yeah, just come in from the hallway, crossing the garden. Oh, what is that button? I don't think I want to press that. You know what? I'm going to make another oasis of darkness here. Because we just don't. There's too many lights in this damn hotel. Oh, this door is open. Take that, but. Uh, it's just a little library. I guess reading room. Uh, what's this one? So this is close. This is all staff. Uh, this is uh, a library. Uh, we need a key for Benny's room. All right, and the guard should still be making his way around. Should be able to get the next room. All right, safely. So what's this? Uh, exciting! Anything in the water? No. Always look for loot that people might have dropped in the toilet, you never know. So it's toilets. I thought that was supposed to have like six guest rooms. Are they guest rooms around the courtyard here then? I don't know. Uh, so we're expecting a guard in the dining hall. There's a guard patrolling here. I think there's a guard here. There's someone in the garden as well. It's probably Lady Bafford. Why are you coming this way? Oh no, they're going up to the garden. Are oh, there two guards that patrol this way? Oh, maybe so. Alright. Yeah, I'm gonna try and sneak uh, this. Out again? Yeah, these gas torches, you know. Never any really good. Mm -hmm. You've made a big mistake, Taffer. What? What? Where's my flash bomb? Flash bomb. <laughs> How did you see me there? You certainly didn't hear me, it was carpet. Well, I was going to say I was going to try sneaking, but okay. I guess if I get caught sneaking, then... Fair enough. Here's the other guard. In here. There we 
Alright, now they're gonna pick up. Well, there is no garden dining hall, but it is a noisy floor. Let's go quietly. What's the kitchen? And then there's a lot of uh, sound getting around inside this hotel. It's not very well soundproofed. Someone there? Nope. Ah. Sorry. You will have to sleep there while. Uh, ooh. A little bit of spice, I guess. You can sleep there while I loot your kitchen. What's your diary say? No, recipe book. To one pound of ground steak, add three diced cloves of garlic, one fourth of a cup of onions, also diced, and the beaten froth of the yolk of one chicken's egg. To this, add two large spoons of a mixture of salted ground black pepper, then mix thoroughly while liberally seasoning with the juices of the hot pepper. Let stand until the meat has dried a small ways, then form into portions. Add the juice of the lime to each portion and cook over an open fire. Serve on bread with the paste of the tomato and the paste of the mustard seed as garnish. We'll feed three. Well, that's their medieval burger recipe. The preparation of baric tenderloin requires the use of a tenderizing solution easily concocted. Mix equal parts of soured wine, the juice of lemons, and the juice of oranges. Cover the baric meat with this liquid. Then add whole peppercorns and salt to taste. Let stand in a cold room overnight. When ready to cook, remove the meat from the solution and brush it with the oil of olives. Roast the meat over a low flame, brushing the remaining solution on it frequently. Though considered by most unfit for consumption, the meat of the spider is a delicacy in certain regions. It is important to let the spider hang in a curing shed for some time, similar to the preparation of game fowl so that the meat may rot slightly. This enhances the flavor. Once cured, roast it as you would any other meat. Spider must be served as a cold dish, thinly sliced and garnished with garden vegetables. Wow, spider recipes, huh? Hey, we got a hit point back there. Let's see if the cheese is also heals us. Oh, no healing cheese, right? What's in your oven? Fire, All right. amazing. All right, where's What's off from the kitchen? Uh, it's just a pantry. All right. Well, I'm you know I've lost some health. I might as well eat all the food that you have available. But uh, apart from a bunch of uh, crates, I don't think there's anything else for me in the pantry. So, back slowly through this dining room. All right, kitchen, dining room. So there's exits, but that doesn't clearly doesn't mean guards because there's no guards there. Um, this door goes back to the lobby, so that's fine. I can go in there. I should have shut those doors. I guess we need to check out the bar and courtyard. We need to find out who's got the key. It's possibly there's some people in this room, but I might as well since I'm in this part just try and explore that section of the hotel. Careful on the floor there, Garrett. This is amazingly bright, isn't it? Oh, it's the guard I can hear uh, down in the reception area. Right, let's just close these doors. So we have some privacy from uh, whoever is patrolling the hallway still. The bar. Is there anyone in the bar? Well, apparently not. I guess having uh, one of your guests murdered is a good reason for a hotel to lose business. Alright, we've got 1064 gold. What's the objective? 1200. Wait, what? Total 1064. Objective says 1200, that doesn't add up. Alright, I guess they've missed set the objective up wrongly. That's fine. They've probably set up, set up as 1000 instead of 1200. So we have. Oh, there is an upper floor. 
I guess the upper floor must be where most of the guest rooms are, maybe. No? Hmm. It's got a door to the courtyard and we've got an upper floor. Let's check out the stairs. It's a nice carpeted stairway. <laughs> Bang, oops. Wrong, wrong button there. Chop down all the banners. What's out here? Oh, he's overlooking the courtyard. Or is, or is this the courtyard? Alright, we have a guard. With a bow and arrow. Who will not take kindly to us. Oh, and they turn around, okay. Is that the only guard up there? Type, I guess. Let's make sure it exists. Hmm. Wonder what the hell. There's definitely guards in the courtyard. Right, this is the guest rooms up here. This is number six. Four, five, and six. Was it four, five, and six that were Lady Baffert's? I don't know, but this guard might as well. Sleep in here out of the brightness. Fireplace, no loot. Turn the light on and perhaps get a better look in case I missed something. Yep, nothing at all. Very well. Wow, well, not even an ensuite. There's uh, two balconies. What am I seeing on the balcony? Oh, a potted plant. Okay. Two balconies from uh, up here. Interesting. Doesn't actually seem to be connected according to this map, but I guess maybe they are. Let's check the other, other guest rooms. Well, they have another fireplace. Yeah, nothing. Stairwell over there, I think. And another hotel room with absolutely nothing in it. Oh, very. I'm excited. What's there? Oops, nothing. This looks quite enough now. Yep. So, remember the talk of the metal faces they were planning to install? <clears throat> at the hotel. I guess that must be in uh, that suite there. Lady Bath's suite, because... I mean, there is an alarm, as you can see the alarm light. But, uh, I have seen neither hide nor hair of the metal faces. Alright, so... Right, guest room from 2-3, down below. What do we have here? Alarm. Well, there's the alarm and call button, I guess, for a lift. <laughs> hmm. Quite bright down there. And lifts and noisy things. Well, noisy to step on it, anyway. This might end badly for me. Stuffing around down here. Right, that's the back gate. There's some uh, signs there. Don't know what they say. Got two guards now to worry about. I want to check those bedrooms as well. That might be hard with that guard at the back gate. I don't know. It's be easy enough to avoid this one. Stuart, pool is closed for cleaning. Well, he is. Oh, he was asleep at his desk, he just woke up. 
So let's go back to sleep. And spectacles are not valuable. What's this say? Full lights. Uh, okay, I don't think I've got the full lights on. More hit points, that's nice. Who's just sleeping? Someone in the next room. <laughs> oh, I mean, for the, the steward, he gets a pretty nice, uh, much nicer residence than even Lady Batman does. Nice nice Interesting. My darling Andre, the children and I are overjoyed that you have been promoted to Director of Recreational Activities. We will be staying here with Father Moria for three more days, and then it's home to Moth anew. Perhaps you could take some some time off and the four of us can visit the seaside for a few days. Father Moria says we can stay at the Abbey of St. Vincent. Please say yes, it has been years since the children have seen the ocean. Love, Erta. Alright, well. Oh, there's this, this sleeping. Who's there? Go back to sleep. Guard at the back gate might uh, fancy that he saw me. Hmm? Relax, come back to sleep on your bed. <clears throat> you'll wake up in the morning, you'll wonder what happened. Well, we got quite a few water arrows. I could actually put out some of the torches down there. That might be a good idea. The question is, what's my aim like? Hello? Someone there? Can we see through that? Balcony wall, that's odd. Also disconcerting. <laughs> Lady Baffert arrives on arrives on the twentieth. Remind housekeeping staff to install the security devices on the eve of the nineteenth. Any sooner than that, and we may run the risk of a clever assassin casing the hotel and discovering our defences. Only when her ladyship is en route will we set up the mechanical faces in the main courtyard. Also, as Lady Baffert is a keen swimmer, it is imperative that the staff get that pool scrubbed before she arrives. It would be unseemly to ask her ladyship to wallow in such filthy, algae-ridden muck. Captain Benny will serve as Lady Baffert's personal guard. As long as I can keep him out of the bar, she should be in good hands. Alright. Wait, I didn't see mechanical faces in the courtyard here. Have they not been installed yet? Has Lady Baffert not arrived yet? I'm a little confused as to the what day of the month it is. And thus what kind of preparations we should be expecting at this point. Where's a guard? There, yeah, alright. We'll wait for him to come and go. <coughs> Who's there? Oh. Just the growers. Like the ones in the sewers. What's there? Alright. That's a little better. There's still a big pool of light. Room number two. Alright, so Lady Baffert, I guess, hasn't arrived yet because there's a room upstairs. So why was Benny murdered before he was even acting as bodyguard? Sleep. Sleep silently, your snoring was uh, getting to me. Are you about to murder before? Oh, come on, you. Are you gonna see me? Hopefully, I can stay out of this pool of light. What's over there? That's not as dark as I thought. Guess it was nothing. Good. Oh, there's someone else there. Alright, I'll wait for this guard to turn his back. I should probably just like douse one of those torches too for my own sanity and uh, ease of 
Uh, didn't that just get replaced this morning? Yeah, these torches are terrible, aren't they? What's this? 7314. 1. Preha. 2. Tillinghouse. 3. Torion. 4. Van Ort. 5. Baffert. 6. Jean. What? Is this the room assignment? Preha, Tillinghouse, and Torion in 1, 2, and 3. That's not the same as the books we saw in Doors. Van Ort, Baffert, and Jean in 4, 5, 6. Well, we know Baffert. Put your voltage in, or vice versa. I don't know what Van Ort is, the mechanist uh, scientist would have to do with that. 7314, however, might well be the combination to the money exchange safe. The combination that I needed. So, stop snoring. Sorry, I hit the bed and wake you up. Uh, instead of hitting you on the head. Apologize for the inconvenience. Yeah, there he goes around again. All right, let's let's douse this one. Jordan, that you? No, Jordan is off partying. <coughs> the best accessory for a master thief is a mug of tea. So when you have to wait. Watch guards patrol past. You can, uh. Mm, no will. Guess I'm just nothing. Dampen your throat and, uh, talk better. Now, I wonder if there is anything of value in. down here. in the pool. There's a bucket. Oh. And lots. I'm zoomed in so far, I can't see. It's a bucket of mop. Uh, but I can't really get in without being hurt because well, it's all, all bloody tired. Well I bet you there's like some coins or a ring or something there. <laughs> oh, I think he is seeing, possibly just seeing the unconscious dude out of the corner of his eye or something. Alright, so I've been all the way around the courtyard. So I have to get back to the bar and decide on our next move. So, all this is explored. It's only up here now to go, I guess. Yeah. So we have our friend still patrolling. Oh, there's the one down there. Also the one that's patrolling in here. And there's somebody in the garden. A pool of shadow. That's actually. It. Oh, is he coming this way? I thought he patrolled the other way. Maybe he wanders around the garden. Oh, he's definitely coming that way. You are hampering my investigation, sir. But all right. Way instead. Look over there. What? No will. Guess we're just nothing. Going both ways. Well, she's facing the other way. Oh, let me go back to this door then. Now. Why did he come in here? Well, there's two of them there. Well, neither of them have any kind of things on the belts. God, this guard. All right, he's going back and forth. He's not patrolling up and down the corridors at all, apparently. Okay. Now that I know that, I can uh, just keep out of his way and stay out of the patch of darkness here. Right, so let's douse this torch as well. Since we need to enter that room next. Break. What is going on here? Mm. Strange noises. Like the gate lifting up. We have 
guard who is very much in our way and alert and I think well there's a good chance for us getting over it he is guarding a door and I think I want to go inside that door I don't know what's there but yeah. <laughs> uh, it's the only room apart from the room where Benny was actually killed that is the only room I can't access and surely the key I need is going to be there I have an invisibility potion and I have a flash bomb. I'm just wondering which to use. <coughs> Two flash bombs. I don't tend to make much use of invisibility potions. They're uh, very um, circumstantial, and this is a good opportunity, I think, for it. <laughs> oh, uh, you up, and you also become invisible, just like me. <laughs> now it's one off. Doesn't last long at all, and that's why it's, you know, only occasional situations that it works for. Well, we have a room. Fancy room. Valuable masks. Valuable empty chests. And a second floor, what's up here? Doesn't sound like there's anybody. Bed. Painting of someone. A photo actually looks like. The bathroom. What the little toilet? What is this white room? Whose is this room? It doesn't look like a hotel room. There's no like. Uh, there's a desk. There's no like. Armchairs or anything. More importantly. Why do I care about this room? What were you guarding? Do you have a key? No? Oh, I have the hotel key. Maybe the hotel key is the one that's uh, locked Benny's room. Perhaps I could have got in here all along. Nope. Not the sewer gate key. Not the sewer hatch key. Not the other sewer gate key. It's not you drop. I can't pick it. What the hell? I'm missing a key. I don't know where it is. I'm gonna need to get this guard. <coughs> Almost suddenly. <laughs> but from the other side, it's gonna be the way to do it. Because that way, the people in the garden won't be able to see me. It's possible this guard has a key. Very bright. Be very careful here. <laughs> no, he doesn't have a key. No keys. Just a nice gentle sleep. Ah, well, our primary objective uh, to break into the room where Benny's body was discovered um, is not doing us any good whatsoever. I feel like I'm missing something important. I'm gonna... Quite sure neither of you have keys. No? Is there anything on the table there? Doesn't look like it. I don't think I need to... Knock, knock these people out for a loot or otherwise. I think I can just leave them whistling to themselves quietly in the garden. But now what? Oh. No, I thought I saw uh, what looked like, you know, fake book. No, it wasn't. Who is going to have the key that we need? That's the kitchen, the dining room, right? This is the bar and access to the courtyard.
Well, 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 well. I suppose I should try the courtyard once more. Now that we've got some lights out down in the lower part, I can deal with these two guards, I guess. Like, if it wasn't my intention to knock everyone out, but it's much easier to search their pockets if you do. Hello? Careful on the left. Just want to careful off it. And then What's that? quickly into the dark. Show yourself. So do you have a key there? Just the sir. Checking up uh, you can't tell you <laughs> maybe have something on your belt. It's really hard to see from this angle. He does not. Have to check the pool after all. I will <coughs> think knock this fellow on the head. Hello? Someone there. Oh, you're so tense. Exciting as you think. All right, I'm gonna go try and deal with him as well. I got plenty of what arrows, considering uh, I have been pretty much everywhere in the map. Just a bit of rain. Nothing to get excited about. Oh, I didn't even need to do that. I could have. Uh, can easily creep up behind. Well, he has no keys on him either. <coughs> But, into the dark. That means I can come down now into the pool. In fact, I can turn the pool lights on, right? You said just sneezed? Wow, look at how bright those lights are. I can search the pool to see if there's anything that may have fallen in. That might be of use to me. Did somebody dropped a key in here that I need, you know? No? No, of course not. You know what I'm thinking? You know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking that... Well, first of all, that's quite pretty, so I'm going to leave him on. Second... Uh, so he's the recreation director, this is the steward. If I'm missing a key for the hotel, it's going to be the steward that has it. Uh, or possibly the guard who was wandering the lobby, but I don't think. I don't think so. No, the steward has no keys. Oh, I looked in there already. Okay. And, well, he was the one sleeping outdoors, that's right. Um, the alternative is because it's a crime scene, the uh, key might actually be back at the watch station. It would make sense that the city watch has locked it up, right? So... In that case... Uh, we might need to go back there. Which I think... God, this is going to be bad, isn't it? How do you tell where the... Trolling do this. Oh, he's just coming up the stairs there, alright. Oh. Alright, I'll wait till he's on the other stairs. Which I guess I can hear when I hear his boots on the tiles again. No 
and nor do I. Third time this shift. I gotta calm down. Maybe, you know, maybe this time it really is something. Maybe it really is a thief. You don't have a key. But all the other guards in this uh, hotel are asleep. I figured you might as well join in. And I can open up that. Alright. So, what manners? Haha, slash all manners. Yay. Now, with all the guards in the hotel, I'm conscious I don't need to worry about this uh, noisy floor either. Which is nice. Okay. So, I guess I'm going to retreat back to the water station, but on the way, we did find a scroll. A papyrus, rather. No, no, that's, that's not... Uh, that's... no. Oh. Uh, a scroll. 7314. Uh, with a combination. So, I think, if we go back to here, that is probably this. Safe code that we needed. It's the only thing resembling a safe code that we found, although I don't know why one of the hotel guests had it. It's very odd. Alright. Where's the money exchange? This one. Where's our way in? Here. That's the metal face in the. Uh, Store seven three one four. That's right. What? What? Do I want to open this door? A uh, one of Karis's metal beasts. Oops, I messed that up. Ah, I messed it up again. God. There's a combat pot. Just what I need. Well, I've got seven water arrows. I can spend a couple on that, I think. As it comes by again. Wow, it's much bigger. I just thought it was a big safe. I didn't think it was like a vault with a bloody pot in it. Alright. An error. An error. Fails to understand. And. Creation. Fails to understand creation. That's a great shame. <laughs> Maybe that's a scientist and not actually a, uh, you know, a guard. Right, do any of these open? It's uh, disconcerting when they use this kind of door elsewhere in the, in the level and it does open. Oh wait, well, okay. They do open, they just open the switches. Never mind. gonna complain that you know using a door that does open and then one of the same kind that doesn't open is a problem but never mind the men of the caravan say that they do not know what is in the copper banded box only that those who gave it to them said that it contained a priceless relic from the palace at Caranthes. they were told to bring it here because of the love which the sender bears the priests kelly and publico believes it to contain the diadem of the giant kings of the people that dwelt in the dark land before the ancestors of the stygians came there he showed me a design carved upon the lid, which he swears is the shape of the diadem that legends tell us the Monster King's war. Alright, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it makes it sound valuable, you know, maybe I can get some extra price for that. Meats and wines and fish and herbs, the swampy hops afoot, crawly crawly spins a web for the wet face and the throw worm to sleep in. For hundreds years the beastie walks, for hundreds miles the lurk unfolds, and all in all the west of the bunch is drawn among the dribblings of the scribe Radu. If want the work, yes, yes, shall go unto the pit of the Dark Hammer, and there ask a question for the scribe to eat with herbs and fish and wine and meat. But should the inch by inch arise and runs you for the hut and hides, only a lucky man with mask evades the things that walk the swamps. 
Well, even the pagans have trouble with the things from the swamps. Okay. Any more? Yes. All these coins. What do we got here? Papyrus? Catalin? Well, it might appear that the laboratory specimens are communicating with each other. I assure you that it is quite impossible. You claim that one bogey signed the passcode for a supply closet to another, and that the latter proceeded to open it. As I'm sure you know, there have been literally tens of thousands of studies of bogey intelligence, and there's no evidence of behaviour even remotely that sophisticated. Either you single-handedly trump the entire field of bogey behaviourism, or you're badly in need of a vacation. Director Flake. Whose idea was it to bring a hundred and fifty bogeys into the Institute anyway? Must be Flegg's latest brilliant plan. It's all about the interests of science with him, isn't it? It's painfully obvious that he never spends any time in the labs. Interests of science? What about the interests of hygiene? Does Flegg have any idea how much waste is produced by a hundred and fifty bogeys in a single day? Poor creatures. I'm beginning to feel the same attachment to them as Catelyn does. They come to Dark Mesa to participate in the most historic experiment of all time and they end up being chopped into little pieces in the name of progress. If this is such a historic experiment, why doesn't Director Flegg volunteer to go through that portal himself? Maybe it's because all the bogeys we've sent through to date have come back with severe nerve damage, if they've returned at all. As a scientist, there was nothing I wanted to do more than secure a position at Dark Mesa, but no one said anything about having to report to a dung for brains like Flegg. I hope Catalan is promoted to Chief Technician. She deserves the recognition for her work, but more importantly, she'll provide me with a buffer between me and that idiot director. Oh, oh empty. And a uh, bunch of skulls and... Uh, whoa. <laughs> uh, and, uh, yeah, no, nothing very exciting. Why would you want to keep... First of all, this is supposed to be a money exchange, not... A bank, right? Why do you have safety deposit boxes? Fair enough, you've got, you're branching out. Um, what's that? Oh, just his arm. And there's literally nothing down here anyway, is there? Oh, just a skull I dropped. Fair enough, you're branching out and offering some additional services to your customers. Fine. But who would want to keep a bunch of skulls and one bone in a safety deposit box? Well, never mind. Most important thing is, I have found the code to this place that I did not have before and have looted it for all it's worth which was uh, well about uh, six or seven hundred we're definitely well past the twelve hundred we needed now and uh, it's time to go back to the watch station I'm trying to remember was there anyone out here what did I Oh yeah, there's the archer up there, and I did dispatch them. Anything on the benches here? No. Just one check. Alright. So that's, uh, McHenry's. The watch station is just around here. Hmm. So now... Oh, who's it? Drunk fellow asleep on the street. Oh, what? I was gonna say, so now. Uh, he wasn't there before, was he? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, I'm off to have watch Substation 4. And now I want to find everywhere in this uh, watch station that I haven't already been. So I really want to deal with all of them. Snuck a past them before, but uh, this time, well, now I'm just getting impatient. I knocked them out already, okay. Just right. There's one here that walks around from right to left, yeah? If I remember correctly. Yes. Better not be the sergeant checking up on me. What the hell? What? Got you! Heads are gonna roll now. 
Botheration. <laughs> You'll pay for this. Just one move, Tapper, and you're mine. Damn. He's losing the building now. Come to Papa now. Well, they lost me. Well, it's so bright out here, they can't really peek around the corner. Without risking him seeing me. Right, what? Oh, you. Right, where's my, where's my other flashbang? Let's run around in circles like your Captain Benny Hill. What's this? What? Oh, oh god, I can't knock you out. Alright, this is going, this is really bad, alright. Uh, I don't have a plan here. Curse your eyes! What about I my need eyes? back up here! I want a piece of you! Uh, I don't have any gas. I can drop this at you, his feet. But, uh, that's not really gonna do me any good, because that's gonna fail my objective not to kill any of the cops. Um,. Right. <clears throat> Let's pretend that none of that ever happened. So this fella has an ordinary <coughs> helmet, so I can definitely hit him on the neck. And drop him in the dark corner. The fella patrolling in here, however, has uh, a knockout proof helmet. I curse the day that Thief 2 introduced those. So it means we'll have to uh, dance around him again while we search for keys again. Did we miss something in in the lieutenant's office? I don't know. There we go. Guess if we can't knock him out, and we're just gonna have to put up with him. Someone say something. Guess it's a quiet shift after. So all. Captain Hill had the hotel key. And Lieutenant Torion had just some loot in that letter. So nothing I need. Today, no. There's no keys down behind the desk. He's gonna walk around there, so I better not be seen. Don't see me here, please. Good, good. No, you don't. That's why I'm hitting you on the head, then. Oh, I see some money I didn't see before. That's uh, that's worth picking up. How did I miss that? Well, wait for him to walk him out the door there. Go grab it. But. Money alone isn't going to get me what I need. Alright, watch station, as far as I know, is clear. So, what am I missing? This banner there is not going to be anything to do with that. <clears throat> we don't have the map of the town. 
Um, and that's the way to the hotel. So if we go back through the sewers. Yeah. Oh, that's the uh, power sensation. Gonna complain about the noise and then try and shut the door again, but the door decided not to open. Where's that sewer hatch? Oh, what's that sewer hatch? What's in there? Oh, yeah, okay. Back through the sewers as we go. Fortunately, it's uh, not far. It's just... Uh, we went the long way around when we came through the first time. We can actually go the short way now. So... Let's show you. Back to the sewer hatch we climbed in. I believe. Yep. So, <clears throat> what am I doing? I don't know. Like, I need a key for the hotel. I don't know where it is. Um, and to be honest, it's almost time. Oh, God. Uh, didn't that just get replaced this morning? So, how am I supposed to see what I'm doing? Uh, it's really almost time to uh, <laughs> cut this episode. But come on out here, son. Before I do that, it's nothing now. Oh wait, opposite. Hostel opposite. Oh yeah, I can get up there. I think. Put those hands up or I'm gonna put you down. Gonna roll now. Ow! Uh. Ow! Not there. Ah. Ouch. Alright. Well, I've learned two things. One, he's a very good shot. Two, the sticky outfits that are wood and not the rest of it. And he's far more alert than I gave him credit for. Oh! Uh. Oh, god damn it. Garrett. Climb up. <laughs> you right? Just fall to your death because you feel it's fun. Out here, son. There's no one. Guess it's nothing now. Oh, so here's a new place I haven't been to before, but it's a hostel. It's not going to have anything I need, surely. News of a recent bogey infestation has brought me to this miserable little town called Moth. Bogies were first noticed by a sewer maintenance worker on the 3rd of this month. It is now the 14th, and no one has been in the sewers since the 6th, when a couple of watchmen sent down to investigate the sewermen's wild tales failed to return. I have managed to persuade the sewerman to give me the key to the hatches, but he insists that I return at dusk each evening. He says he cannot sleep unless it is safely on his belt. My first impression of these bogeys is that they are more advanced than most I've seen. However, it is rare to encounter bogeys outside of the spider melon patch, and so it may be that prolonged exposure to urban environments unlock some sort of potential in the weak creatures. These moth bogeys have learnt, through mimicry no doubt, some rudimentary, if obscenity-laced, phrases in English and are rarely heard to communicate with the hoots and chitters that are characteristic of the usual bogey. There are at least seven bogeys in the tribe beneath the streets of Moth. They are, for the most part, distinguishable by behaviour set, and seem to have personalities of their own. This is a startling discovery, as it has always been assumed that these creatures are clones of each other, perfect biological copies created from some vast hive network deep within the spider memo patch. Of course, such things are merely conjecture, as only the mechanist scholar Radu has ever been to the patch, and taken notes on those things that live there. Ever since Radu's excommunication, nothing has been heard from him. The scientists lost a great mind when Radu disappeared. I have sent a letter to the local mechanists asking them to share whatever information they might have, but they tell me that the 15th book of Radu's writings, the book he took with him into the spider Millen patch, is blasphemous and forbidden to read. They can, however, provide some information into the Bogeymaster, that elusive creature known variously to we scientists as Swamp Walker, 
Mr. Bad Daddy, or the Gingerbread Man. Although the study of the social habits of the bogies is my chief assignment, any information about Mr. Bad Daddy would certainly elevate my position at the Institute. I might even be able to secure additional funding if it turns out that these bogies are following, rather than fleeing the Swamp Walker. Whatever the case, where bogies lurk, the Gingerbread Man is close by. He has either recently passed through here, or will arrive soon. So we have found the scientist's rooms here. Who's making that noise? That would be the scientist in there, I guess. <clears throat> More. Yeah, fake doors. That's some loot. I'll do it. And the banner. There's nothing behind it. Are you the scientist? Do you have any keys or anything I want? Why don't you sleep? Do you have any loot in your room? No, just fine. Alright. Well, that's a kind of a unnecessary blackjack, but alright. Well, it doesn't really help in any way, shape, or form. It gets a little bit more information on those uh, creatures in the swamp. Uh, sorry, in the sewers. From, creatures from the swamp, I guess. What do I say? Uh, but, nothing. I think I'm going to have to leave my rope here. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to safely get that down. Nothing that gets me into Benny's, which is where I'm going out here, son. Stay blind. <clears throat> Probably just the wind. Definitely just the wind. All right. So, uh, unfortunately for that scientist, she's going to wake up to find, uh, I think, pretty much her entire population of uh, bogey study subjects uh, kind of dead. I suppose one of them I knocked in the conscious and is still alive. The rest are dead. Um, yeah. Also, what is this Mr. Bad Daddy that they're talking about? I don't know, but uh, hopefully not anything I have to run across. Though perhaps that is who killed Benny? I don't know. I also don't know what the deal with that uh, Mr. Cage in uh, Black Hand and Yellow Spiders here and oh my god this machine is deafening and the door broke so I can't play it. Ah. I did miss something at the hotel. I turned out in the two story suite. Um, Almost all of those masks is what I missed. Sorry, is where I missed a key. Uh, that kind of makes sense. It's kind of like, I guess it's supposed to be like the manager's place or something. Uh, fortunately, because I knocked everyone out, I don't really have to worry now about being quiet as I make my way back there to this room here, yeah. <clears throat> so we can just go up the lift and. Uh, if we can find that key now. Also, because uh, that's not that way. It's just me. Hello, garden people. Yeah, that's right. Uh, also, because we missed, especially a key in here. Maybe I already have it. Hotel key, so we get a key. It was said to be a reddish gold key by uh, the walkthrough I looked up. Moves in the chest in the bedroom. I'll try upstairs. I'll look again upstairs. I still have flares. I can uh, look for more. Oh! There's a chest at the foot of the bed. I completely overlooked. Here we have a key. Alright! Uh, so... Let's go find out what's happened at the crime scene. 
and the room that Benny was killed in. Stand forth over there! What? Benny? Hold! Steve! I ain't Jesus! Mr. Gaster, this is Idman. This is Idman. What the? Ah, yes. Uh, please, excuse my appearance. Astral projection and all that, uh, you understand. My brother and I would like to thank you for participating in our little charade. Perhaps you'd be interested to examine the body of the man you've just killed. It was Captain Benny's Captain Mr. Gaster. Oops. You really are astonishingly naive for a city. We were surprised that you believed our story without even bothering to confirm it. I suspect you are blinded with greed. Nasty habit. I suggest you get out of Moss tonight. You won't want to be around when the captain's body is discovered. Leave Moth, Mr. Garrett, and dinner come back. You'll not be welcome here. And about the rest of your payment? Forget it. What? My money! I better get out of here now. Alright. Uh, so we found out who killed Benny. Turns out it was me. Uh, I guess I wasn't really expecting that. So, uh, we found out who killed Benny, and uh, surprise, surprise, it was us. Uh, that's very unfortunate. Uh, you know, I'm supposed to be a thief, not a murderer, but whatever. I guess that means we really should have failed this objective, because, you know, Benny was a cop, so... But okay, that kind of explains why I was confused about time, and why Benny was not there guarding Lady Bradford and all that. Total time for the mission, 1 hour and 58 minutes. Uh, we found 1,974 loot out of a total of 2,209. How did we miss... Uh, Almost 300. I don't know. We found no secrets, but there were none. That's fine. Uh, Pockets picked 8 out of 11. Yeah. Well, that was... Uh, well, Benny's dead. Thanks very much for watching. I will see you for the next episode.